All right, today we're going to be talking about mutations. Uh, a mutation is basically any time there's a change in the DNA sequence that affects the genetic information. Um, there are two major types of mutations, um, one of them being uh, gene mutations and one being uh, chromosomal mutations, which we'll talk about throughout the slideshow here. Uh, the change usually happens during DNA replication. So remember, DNA replication is where the DNA is being copied during the S phase of interphase um, in preparation for mitosis. And kind of like if I had you write out um, all the letters for DNA, sometimes you might write an A or you're supposed to write a T, for example. Um, that would be a, an example of a mutation. So the first type of mutation is called a gene mutation. And gene mutations affect a single gene. Remember, a gene is just um, a sequence of DNA that codes for a specific protein or trait. Um, so a gene mutation is just going to affect that one gene. It's not going to affect the entire DNA. Uh, and the, the one type that we really talk about is what's called a point mutation. And this is um, something that affects just one nucleotide. Okay, just one nucleotide. Uh, most gene mutations, or most mutations in general, um, are point mutations, um, where just one single letter is affected. And the example that we're going to give you is something called substitution. And in substitution, one base takes the place of another. So, kind of like I said um, just a few minutes ago, uh, imagine if you were writing down the code, and you accidentally wrote a T instead of an A. That's a substitution. You have um, substituted one of the letters in for another one. Here's just a quick, uh, uh, just a quick diagram to show you what this looks like. So, notice here's the original DNA strand. Okay, so you've got TAC, GCA, TGG, and AAT. Now that would uh, transcribe into AUG, CGU, ACC, and UUA. Okay, and all, everybody should be pretty much familiar with that. Um, if I broke out my code wheel, you would see that uh, it would be methionine, arginine, threonine, and leucine uh, are your amino acids. Okay. Now imagine if we changed, so this C right here, if we put a T in instead, that's a substitution. I've taken out the C and I've put in a T. What happens? Well, the other um, three letter words in DNA do not change. So really it's just going to affect um, this one area of mRNA, which then gets translated into histidine. So it's a one amino acid change. Now, depending on which amino acid is changed, depending on which protein we're talking about, this could be, um, you know, harmful, but most of the time, it's unnoticeable. Yeah, it can be. Uh, as you get older and older, you're going to have more and more point mutations over time. Um, you know, these, these, it could be as, 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 as simple as, um, you know, lactose intolerance, not, not being able to digest milk as you get older. Um, or it could be something even more severe, something like diabetes. Uh, so a point mutation really could, could kind of varies in its severity. And this, again, is a substitution. That's the only point mutation you'll have to know. Now, another type of, of, of gene mutation is what's called a frame shift mutation. Now, these are much more um, severe because this affects many nucleotides. Many letters are out of place. So everything after the mutation is affected is either shifted up or shifted down. And, and, and it'll be a little bit easier to, to understand that when I show you the example. Now, this will change the entire protein, not just that one amino acid. It'll actually change the entire protein, which is not good. So there are a couple examples of frame shift mutations. The first one is called insertion. Insertion is where I'm going to add a letter. So I'm not going to substitute. I'm not going to take a letter out and substitute a letter in. I'm just going to stick one in there. It's going to bump everything else down. So again, take a look. You've got TAC, GCA, TGG, AAT. Okay. If I insert a T after the TA, so notice I'm, I'm inserting the T right in between this A and C. That bumped everything else down. So now take a look at the protein. So we were supposed to have met, arg, three, and lu. Now we've got completely different amino acids. Um, notice it ends with lu, but that's just by coincidence. Uh, but it's a totally different protein. So this is going to be much more severe. You're going to see a lot more effects from a frame shift mutation um, than you would with a point mutation. 
So that extra nucleotide has shifted everything down. All right, example number two of a frame shift mutation is called deletion. So it's the opposite of insertion. Deletion is where I'm going to get rid of a single base. Now this, this particular diagram looks a little bit different. Um, it's not specifically DNA, it's just kind of, but it gives you the same effect. Uh, it's the fat cat ate the rat is what it's supposed to say, but if I delete one letter and bump everything else down to the left, then it just reads te fat at a tet her, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, So deletion, again, it's the opposite of, of insertion. Everything's going to shift um, the other direction, and again, it's going to affect the entire protein. All right, so again, there's two major types of, uh, of mutations. There's gene mutations, which affect a single gene. But then there's also these mutations called chromosomal mutations, and these affect an entire chromosome. Chromosomal mutations lead to some of the most severe genetic diseases that we know, um, things like, uh, like Down syndrome, for example. And there are four varieties of, of chromosomal mutations. The first one is called chromosomal deletion. Now, you got to be careful because we have a deletion in the gene mutation, too. So you, got, you can't just say deletion. You have to really say chromosomal deletion. This is where um, an either an entire chromosome or just a small part of a chromosome is deleted. So notice, here's a chromosome. It's a sister chromatid. You've got the centromere right here. Um, you've got several genes, A, B, C, D, E, F. Well, imagine if I deleted deleted B. It's gone. Okay, take a look over here. Now we've got A, C, D, E, F. The problem is your body still assumes that this spot right here is occupied by B. So it uses C instead of B when it wants to make this protein. And same thing here. It thinks this D is actually a C and so forth and so on. Um, so what happens here in deletion, chromosomal deletion, is the entire chromosome is messed up. Then there's something called duplication. This is where a section of the chromosome is repeated. Um, notice that we've got A, B, C, D, E, F again, but this time, for whatever reason, B was duplicated. So there's two Bs. Okay, and again, in, in a situation like this, you might think, well, that's not a big deal. You still have all the genes. But remember, your body doesn't really see the genes. It just kind of knows where they are. So it seem, assumes this is A. It assumes this is B. Well, it's going to assume this is C. And that's not good. It's going to use this protein to do whatever C is supposed to do, and it's not going to work. All right, this one is called inversion. This happens when during mitosis, um, the sister chromatid kind of lays on itself. And this can happen, where it just kind of twists around itself. The problem is you have to understand that this is all kind of a sticky substance. And um, sometimes, the A can get stuck to the E here, and the B can get stuck to the F. And then when it unwinds, it's in this order, A, E, D, C, B, F. And again, you would think, well, all the genes are there. It's not a big deal. Except that, again, your body thinks this is B. So it's going to use E to make the protein for B, which isn't good. And it's so bad in, uh, that... A lot of times if this happens, especially in, um, before birth, um, you know, if it happens after birth, it's, you're just talking about one cell being destroyed. But before birth, when all the cells are still being made, um, that mean every, it would mean every cell would have this problem. And uh, if that happens, uh, the, the fetus usually does not survive. All right, the last type of chromosome mutations is called translocation. And this is the only one that involves two different chromosomes. Notice you have a sister chromatid from one chromosome here, and you have a sister chromatid from another chromosome here. Um, and during mitosis, like probably during prophase, when they're all kind of sitting in the nucleus, for whatever reason, these two kind of overlapped and started touching, and were like kind of laying on top of each other. And then uh, when the chromosomes were moved, what happened is um, this part of, the, of this chromosome got stuck to this chromosome. Okay, and this part of this chromosome got stuck to this chromosome. So if you look at the end result, um, you've got A, B, C, J, K, L. So uh, what's happened here is a part, this is the wrong part of the chromosome. All right, 
Chromosome mutations, like I said, can also change the overall number of chromosomes. Um, these, this is, this, these, and again, these lead to the most severe types of disabilities, um, where an entire chromosome can be left out or duplicated. Um, if you look here, you have a picture of what's called a karyotype, and these are all the chromosomes in the human body. Okay, remember, we have 23 pairs um, of chromosomes, giving us a total of 46. So you're supposed to have two from, for, for each type. So in the first chromosome, you should have two, one from mom, one from dad. Second chromosome, one from mom, one from dad, and so forth and so on. But if you take a look all the way down here, number 21, you've got three chromosomes. So this person has 47 chromosomes. And again, having extra chromosomes is not a good thing. This particular um, karyotype shows that of a Down syndrome patient. Okay, here's another one. Um, notice that, again, you've got all your pairs of chromosomes. You're supposed to have two for each one. But notice the 23rd pair, missing. So that's missing. Okay, this is called monosomy X. And again, we're going to talk a lot about, about, about these uh, genetic diseases when we get to biotechnology, so I'm not going to spend too much time with this. Okay? All right, this last... Um, Concept map here is just kind of a good way for you to organize your thoughts. Um, so I'll just kind of walk you through it, and you, you can kind of follow along, and, and if you need to rewind, feel free. Um, but you've got mutations, and remember they're broken up into two types, uh, gene mutations and chromosomal mutations. Now, mutations are defined as any change in the sequence of DNA. Now let's focus on gene mutations. So gene mutations are broken up into, uh, into two groups. Um, gene mutations can be point mutations, which we go here, point mutations, um, or frame shift mutations. So point mutations, frame shift mutations. Um, point mutations include just one nucleotide, so affects just one nucleotide. And the example I gave you was substitution. The frame shift mutation affects many nucleotides. And there are two examples of a frame shift mutation. There was deletion and insertion. Okay, going over to the chromosomal mutations, these affect an entire chromosome. And there are four varieties. There's chromosomal uh, deletion. There is duplication. There is uh, translocation. And there is inversion. Okay. All right. And again, if you didn't get all that, you can just simply rewind and... Make sure this concept map is filled in. 